What's going on, football fans? Welcome back to another episode of Breaking the Birds. After a stressful Washington win, Eagles barely getting to 4-0, but 4-0 nonetheless. And one of the biggest contributors to that result, Nicholas Morrow, who has stepped up, to say the least, at the uh, linebacker position. Um, got to go through his game right here. The first play we got going, he's lined up right here um, in a 10 technique, so right off the left of the uh, of the center here he's going to read this flow excellently here going to the left plug up the inside and get the uh, get the tackle for basically no gain right there all right next up we're going to see a little bit of him in coverage we're going to see uh, actually quite a bit of him in coverage right here what i really like about this play here to begin with he's going to uh, be getting on the trigger on sam howell's lined up right here look at how he is he's continuously reading what's coming in front of him all right, first, giving away uh, the uh, the crosser here to the other side, and then stepping upwards uh, to the screen right here, communicating to uh, to Cunningham of the guy coming to his side. And then as Howell is uh, scrambling up, comes in and makes a t uh, hit right here for a two-yard gain. Um, really something he, he did well here is, was in, in this game was adjusting or, or determining when it was relevant for him to trigger on the scramble and when it was relevant to stay in coverage. Next up right here, 30 technique across from the guard, another running play. This time we got double pullers coming to our right side of the screen. So you got the two pullers coming from the left here, tight end and right tackle. It's going to shoot in really nice here. Meet that uh, that tight end that's coming across, plug up the gap, plug up the middle, nowhere to go whatsoever. Coming on to Bliss here, right here with Zach Cunningham. He's going to take on the center initially. Sack is going to be taking over the uh, the uh, running back. Really good job here of Sack of Sack Cunningham of shoving away the center and taking on the engage of the running back. That's going to free up Nicholas Morrow to clean up here with the sack afterwards. Really good stuff. All right, we got him again here in blitz. This time not as uh, not as schemed up for him. It's going to come in right here. Be going one on one against uh, Logan Thomas, who will be coming up there to block him. Good contact, rip underneath it, get some pressure in the face of Sam Howell with the rest of the offense, uh, the rest of, of the defensive line, cause an errant pass that goes way too far down the field, not getting, uh, get, not getting completed. All right, next here we got, um, got him in coverage. A little bit more of a, um, of a strict coverage snap for him here. Line up at the line of scrimmage. Really good job here. We saw that just before where they got the sack. Now we got both Seth Cunningham and Nicholas Morrow lined up at the line of scrimmage. Here's a kind of confused Howell, and his drop in the coverage here is really, really good. He's taking away that final third receiver that is breaking to the inside here. Carries that outside. Good job out here. Um, I, I think it's Bradbury carrying this guy coming inside. And the only one who doesn't do shit on this play is Darius Slay. If Slay had just covered just half as well as Nicholas Morrow, look how he stays right with the receiver going out. If Slay had just been decent on this rep, they wouldn't have gotten 30 yards easily down the field. Again here in coverage, in zone coverage this time here, lining up uh, on deep set. He's in a 30 technique crossing the guard. Look at his, instantly reads the line, gets his eyes out, sees one coming in, breaks inside. This guy's going to be breaking out now. He gets his eyes out there, adjusts relevantly, limits this play to two yards, and stops them on third and eight. Again, really good flow here. He's lined up right here. 30 eye techniques so right inside of the guard at depth. They're all zone blocking outside to the right. Shuts the, uh, the, uh, shuts the block off of the, of the right guard that's coming up there. Really nice tackle made by him and Seth Cunningham. Nice flow to the ball. All in all, pretty rep. At depth again here. Again, it's zone coverage. Look how he's playing from seam into flat. So the first thing he, he wants to respect is that seam coming up. And then afterwards, as that clears, he sees the trigger of Sam Howell. He's already in running motion right here. Limits this play on second down to about two yards, so he gets a third and five. That's perfectly fine. That's what we want him to do. 
it's that's the that's the type of the, of the zone coverage in that scheme that we want. Again, here reads the pass immediately, gets his eyes out. Fletcher Cox with a great uh, a great play. Hor uh, Morrow sees that we're getting pressure on the quarterback. All right, he's going to take this tr the trigger and he cleans up and gets the sack right there. In coverage here. Really good job. Look at how all of these fatties coming out to the bottom of the screen. They're all forming a line. There's no need to get to get in the clusterfuck of that. You can just get in the ass side of this guy right here. Look how he stays ass side to him. The ball carry is going to come to you, and he gets the tackle. No problem. Here. Got him in a 40 technique right across from the uh, tackle. Good delayed blitz. Running back doesn't see him. Comes in, really good speed, triggers and gets the sack. So, all in all, really good game again from Nicholas Morrow in coverage as a blitzer and in run defense. It, you can't really ask for more.